Okay. So basically, to, yeah, today's paint color, we're going to use white, yellow, green, blue, and we're going to add black. Is it? Because we didn't use black last time. Um, brush. Uh, so we're using a brush. Just you can use any brush. And the other one is a bit smaller. So you always, when you paint, always use at least two brushes. Well, actually, we just use two brushes. One is slightly bigger, one is slightly smaller. Okay. Which green are we using today, or are we mixing our own green? So no, we're 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 gonna mix. I'm gonna explain. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you noisy. And then I will on me if you have questions. Or you need help. Uh, okay, so how do you mute? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can mute. Okay. Okay, just unmute or like, and shout. Ah, if you need help. Okay. So. So today we're going to look at, we're going to look at colors, okay? So this artist, his name is Paul Klee. Can you say it, Marie? Paul Klee. Look, is it pretty what he did? What do you like about it? What do you like about this picture? Is there a lot of colors? Is there a lot of colors? What colors do you see? What's that? What color is this? My best. Color is red. Is your favorite color is red? Actually, there's lots of red. There's lots of red. And what other color are there? Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna mute you, so you can answer my question. Uh, look. Okay, just I'll mute you. Stop you. Answer question. Okay. So so look, there's red, there's green, there's yellow. Can you see blue? Is there blue? Where yeah. is the blue? Okay. Is there purple? Is there brown? There is brown. Is there black? Where's black? Hold on. Okay. It's black and and is there pink? Yeah. There are lots of colors. Okay. So. And there's some white. And there's some white. So it's kind of like your Christmas presents. Did you get a lot of Christmas presents? How many presents did you get, Marie? Ten. Ten? Really? I think it's more than that. <laughs> okay, so, so what are we going to do today? We're going to make a little game. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to show you this, okay? This is the first one. And now we're going to have a look at this one. So this one, it's also a lot of colors, but they're making little circles. This one is a bit more difficult. If we have time, we'll do it. Otherwise, we're gonna do it next time. Okay, so today we're going to do, so why do you think it's a pretty picture? Because it's got a bit of everything, doesn't it? And then if we look at our color wheel, so every time what he does, every time, so first of all, look at the shape of the colors and where he put them. Is there some big ones? And some small ones, well, are they all the same shape, Marie? They're not the same shape. Which one's the biggest one? Is this the biggest one? Yeah. What about this one? Yeah. Is that a very big one too? Where are the smallest ones? Here, these ones are very small too. Okay, so what he did, actually, if you think this is called composition. So composition, it's like when you sing a song, you can't sing at the same sound all the time. Jingle bell, jingle bell. If you sing it all the same sound, it's not very, it doesn't sound very nice. So you have some big ones and some small ones, but where do you put them? Do you remember? At the golden section, yeah? So you see this one, he didn't put it randomly. He put it at the golden section. Golden section, you remember the golden ratio. So it's a third. It's roughly a third, okay? So this is one, two, three. So this is a third, one, two, three, a third. That's where he put a very big square. What about here? One, two, three, a third. One, two, three, a third. That's where he put this big square. He didn't put it randomly. I mean, randomly is he didn't use, he didn't think, he didn't use his little brain. 
So he is very brain is your little head, and is like you make a lot of decisions with your brain. Okay. So it's very important every time you see a painting, pay attention. What does he do in this little golden point? Okay, can you tell me? Can you tell me in your picture, Marie? In your picture, where is this area? Where is this? Is it around here? Okay, it's around here. What about this area? Where is it? Around here? Okay, actually, there's four. So there's one here where he did a lot of contrasting colors. And there's one here where he did a lot of mini colors. Okay, and then that's one thing to bear in mind. The second thing is the colors, look. Can you tell me what's the what are the primary colors, Marie? Red, yellow, and blue. So which one is Daddy Mommy who makes orange? Daddy Mommy is red and yellow and the Daddy Mommy makes orange. And yellow and blue are the daddy mommy who makes green. And blue and red are the daddy mommy who makes purple. And so what is the opposite color of red? What's the opposite color of red? What's the opposite? Green, yes. Green. Green. What, what's the opposite color of yellow? What's the opposite color of yellow? Purple. What's the opposite color of blue? Is what's this? Orange. Yes. What happens if we put up with a mix opposite color together? Opposite. Opposite. Okay. So when we opposite, it is a very important concept because it appears everywhere in our life. So when you have something big, do you have something yeah. small? When we have something, when you have something happy, you have something sad. When you have something tasty, like what you eat yesterday, you have something not tasty, okay? And we have something red, you have something blue, green. What happens you make opposite color together? Let's have a look. Do you remember? So red and green makes the color of poo poo. <laughs> okay, so this is not a very strong green. So it's supposed to be a bit more brown. So uh, I can't get it or red. So sometimes when you make the brown, so okay, so let's just revise, okay? So to make everybody remember, it's very, very important. Opposite color, what happens when you mix opposite color? They become the color of poo poo. Shall we draw a poo poo in the middle? This poo poo looks like blue, blue, blue. Okay. You need to remember. If you put opposite color, you make poo poo, okay? But today we can make. It is. <laughs> So today we can use this color. Okay, so today your challenge is you're going to make anything you like with any color you like, but there's two rules you have to follow. They have the shape of your, the marks you make have to be a square or rectangle. That's number one. Number two is when you put down one color, you cannot put it more than three times. So it's not very easy in this paint. But for example, because that is too boring. If mommy repeat the same thing more than three times, you're going to get bored. If I say, Marie, get up, Marie, get up, Marie, get up. After three times, mommy doesn't say it anymore. 老师, 你能不能 repeat 第一个rule? Okay, the first rule is you have to make the, uh, the shape you make has to be a square or rectangle. Yes, yeah, square or rectangle. You can put it anywhere you want. On the, I'm going to show you. The second rule is the same color, for example, I'm going to show you now. We're going to, what color shall we start with, Marie? Marie, what color shall we start with? Okay, she's already losing. <laughs> what color shall we start with? Your, your favorite color? Red. Red, okay. So for example, we're going to start with, for example, red. I'm gonna make one here. Okay, can you color it? Okay, you color it. For example, no, that's too much paint. 
we'll just let's just demonstrate very quickly color it okay so you can make one red well rectangle let's say let's do another one shall we do a little one now where shall we put it i'm gonna put it here okay you can put it anywhere you like let's do a little one let's do another one where shall i put it i'm gonna put it here i'm going to make it slightly longer bigger let's do a different shape okay try to make it all different sides everything try to make it different size but you do it what shape do you, what you want to do a longer one okay that shape that's fine very good so now so now i've done three i've done three shapes you cannot use the same color more than three times so now i'm going to no you're not copying it you're just using it as a reference just to have a look what they he did okay so we've done three shapes now. You can do anything you want, any color you want. Don't do it more than three times and do a different size, okay? Some small, some big, anywhere you want on the shape. But bear in mind, something interesting needs to happen. Well, in the, for new, Ting Ting, Ting, for Ting Ting, especially you're a bit older. So you need to be pay attention where you put at the golden section, okay? Golden section. Uh, okay, so we've done three then. So the rule number two is the same color must not appear more than three times, okay? And the last rule is always try to put the opposite color. When you, for example, I put a red, then you don't know what to do. You look at the color wheel. What's the opposite of red? It's green. Okay, then the next three color we're gonna make green. So how do you make green, Marie? How do you make green? Yellow and blue, yes. Okay, so we're gonna make them yellow and blue. And if you, okay, so can you make, where are you gonna put this? You can put it anywhere you want, but don't put it more than three times. And they need to be a square or rectangle, okay? No, we don't find that easy. Just somewhere in the page is fine. Anywhere in the page, try to make it, like mommy might need to help. Try to make it, okay. No, do Look, another one. Here no, okay. Is, We're gonna not. remove this. We're gonna remove it because it's just really you can, now you create anything like green. Try to yeah. You can use so Marie got bored after one color. So you can mix so you can mix, for example, now she's she, she's not gonna use the same green, she's making a different green. So you can make the color, the, the color can appear only once, that's fine too, but just not more than three times, okay? And then your objective is fill the whole page with as many colors as possible. Okay, you can put it anywhere you want. Do, can you do, Is what shape is that? Fit it, fit it please. So don't, you don't need to, don't copy Marie, just like use any color you want. And if you're stuck, you're like, oh, what's this color? And how do you make this color? And what's the opposite of this color? You just unmute and ask me. Okay, do you wanna make another square like this? So try to make, let's see who is going to make, we're going to count in the end, who is going to make, who can make the most number of co different colors. So we have three, look, what we have, we have three colors. This is red, that's the same color. We'll have a second color here. And that is the third color. They're not the same color, you're right. That's the point. So. If you add something, so for example, Marie added white to her green. So it's a different color now, right? Is that the same? That's not the same color. It's a very different color. If you don't add white, it becomes dark color. Very good, it becomes darker, yes. So if you add, then you can start mixing any color you want. If it, But it should be in the same square, it needs to be the same color, okay? In the same square, don't make it dirty if you can. Then you can add black. Do you want to add some? You want, no, you cannot. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, because you you see you have done one, two, three square with this color now. So now we must change. What color shall we do now? Do you want to black? Okay. Yeah. Black is quite strong. So can we make it not too big? Why black is why black is too strong? Because black. Golden ratio. The 意思是不是那个最大的呃长方形要放在 one third 啊？ Yeah, so what I mean by the golden ratio is, I mean, for the younger children, you don't need to really care about this, but for if you, because you understand, okay, just put a little bit of black, not too much, Marie, please. Not too much. 
Okay, do a little square where I view one. Okay, so golden ratio is basically if you roughly if you divide here by three times, if you divide here by three times, yeah, this bit that spot is the golden ratio. That spot is the good. No, no, I'm not asking you to do that. That spot is the golden ratio. That is. So what I'm trying to say is, mm, try to do something interesting in the golden ratio. What is interesting? For example, you can have very big shape, or for example, you can have. You can look at what Paul Klee did. He he made in the golden ratio area. He made really big shapes and very vivid, standout colors. That's what he did. Well, he, more of this than that. And then basically your painting need to have a focal point. So okay. his focal point, he may he draw your attention in this area. And he he when he wants to draw your attention, he put it at the golden ratio. It's like in music for people who play music. No. You 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 put the you put the you know it, when the music goes to about two-thirds of the whole piece, yeah. that's when very exciting stuff starts to happen. Yeah, it's the yeah. same idea. Okay, so Marie has made two blacks. Well, let's call it square. Okay, what what color shall we make now? So you can make any color you want. Get some gray. You wanna make? How do you make gray? Black, black and white. Okay, so let's do black and a bit of white. Okay, but try not to make too many black colors. Why? Because we want it to be more colorful because it's christmas time we don't want too much dark colors do you yeah, no no should i make some colorful and should i make some look you haven't done any yellow or blue yet uh, yes oh. <laughs> okay just unmute and like we get us what do you want to do you want to do yellow okay go to the yellow look after yes after you take the paint look, after so you take the paint after you take the paint, make sure the brush do eat. Do no, orange. don't put water, please. Do orange. Please. Okay, how do you do orange? Yellow and I'm gonna put this one here. Yang Yang, teacher, we want to do a green color. What color do you want? Okay, now it's a bit under control, out of control now. Green color. Okay, so uh, black and white. And then you can decide whatever ratio you want to make the oh. mouth look <laughs> great. Thank you. You need, ah, can you please don't use all the paint Why? in one color? <laughs> okay, is that orange enough for you now? Yeah. Okay, where are you going to put it? Yeah. Can you do a rectangle? Is that is that a rectangle shape? What shape yeah. is it? No. Okay, can you do a bigger? Okay, no, more than no more than three times. Can you fill it and make it the rectangle or a square, please? That's just an oval. That's a that's not a rectangle. What did mommy say the rule is? You need to be rectangle. No, don't more more than not more than three times. Okay, so like mommies, you might need to mommy, help. What do you mean boring? Boring means not exciting. Hold on. What okay, so mommy boring? might need to help the kids to make it slightly rectangular. Or not, it's up to you. The whole purpose is just fill the whole page with different colors. What color? So we did, we did orange, yeah? We need to do opposite color after you put the orange. What, what shall we do now? Orange. Yeah, you want so to do? Why is it poopy? Because orange and blue makes poo poo. We can use poo poo color later. Why? Let's do. Let's go through. Oh yeah, and please, uh, go through all the colors. I want to see all these colors somewhere in your page at least once. Yeah. Okay, all these very pure colors. No, no, no. You need to put blue now because look, after orange, after the orange, you need to put opposite color blue. Can you make blue? Yeah. Can you take blue and. Where are you gonna put it in the, in the page? Okay, where are you gonna put it in the page? We're gonna do a circular one later. So, but this one try to do a rectangle, okay? Or square. Should I do a tiny one? You did too many big ones. Let's do a tiny one somewhere. Do a tiny one. Okay. Okay. What about? 
Do you want to do another one? Do you want to do another one? Or is fi you finished with the blue? You look, you've done, and try to make, have an idea. For example, we did three really big orange squares to balance it. She only did two very small blue ones. Now we need a very big blue one because otherwise too orange. So we're gonna do a massive blue one, okay? Okay, take the blue paint. Yeah, take the blue paint. After Look, after you take the paint, let the brush eat the paint. Is he eating now? Yeah. He's full, his tummy is full. Okay, his, his tummy need to get a lot of paint. Look, need to get a lot of paint on the brush. Okay, everybody, sick paint, please. Okay, now where you go? Let's put it here. Okay. What? It's a bit small. Make it a bit bigger because you put too much orange. Is that a square or a rectangle, Marie? I'm making it all over. But ma what did mommy say you need to make? Okay. It doesn't have any shape. It doesn't have any size, does it? No. Okay. So just let let just just relax and do anything you want. Okay. So we've done look, we've done we've done we've got red and green, we've got yellow, uh, orange and blue. Shall I do some yellow and purple now? Doing doing. Where do you want to put the yellow? Where do you want to put the yellow? On everywhere. No, you only you, you can only have it in three areas this is not yellow <laughs> okay let's get some yellow so she make a uh what's that show again with a woman Okay, a bit more. No, okay, a bit wide. Okay. 就是我们今天的练习有三个要求。第一个要求形状必须是长方形或者正方形。第二个要求是你调的颜色调什么颜色都可以。但这个颜色不能出现多于三次。大小都可以。然后每个形状最好尽量不一样的形状。第三个要求
You're done. You've done enough now with this color. Yeah. What color should we do next? You need to fill the whole page. You're a lot of white. You've done black already. Black. Then if you cannot run, oh, we haven't done purple yet. Have you done purple? No. So how we do? How do we make purple? You can make light purple. Red and blue makes purple. So mommy need, might need to help the children to make paint because they, 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 they most likely will <laughs> not make it. You can help them to make it, but you need to ask them how to make it. Then they can learn things. Okay? Okay, is that enough? Is that, okay, you do it. Then. Stop washing the brush. Okay, the brush must be dry before you pick up the paint. Otherwise, it's too watery. That's the purple, look. Okay, so you put anything you want. If you're stuck, just unmute and tell me I, we can try to help you, okay? If your color looks too dark, just add white, like what Marie is doing, kind of. <laughs> Look at what you're doing, okay. Now it's too dark again, add more white. Okay. And if your color is too white, add more black. No, 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 stop now. I'm just explaining, okay? So where are you gonna put this? Where are you gonna put this? Where should look, I look. Yeah, can you tell me where you wanna put this paint? We, we have loads of areas to cover. I just want to do it. It's just a stick. Okay, do, do some here. Okay, no, rectangle, please. Hey. Try to keep your shape. Where are you gonna put this? Do I put some here or here? Try yeah, you haven't finished with this brush yet. Where are you going to put this? Yes. If it's too dark, it, it might, it's very likely it will be too dark, so you need to add white. So otherwise, you can't see the color. Add white. So, yeah. Because otherwise, it's very, very dark. It's dark. Okay. So what other color shall I do? Shall I do pink? You want to do pink, Marie? How do you make pink? How do you make pink? Can you tell mommy how do you make pink? I'll whisper. No, don't whisper. People can't hear you if you whisper. To shout. <laughs> no, white and red. White and red, a bit of red, okay? Yeah. Is that pink enough? Is that pretty? And remember, like children, remember you, um, I'm just using to keep things simple. I'm just using the three. Can you look, look, I'm just using the cardium yellow, cardium red and cardium blue. You can use also the other lemon yellow, cerulean blue and crimson, crimson red. And yeah. after you kind of run out of ideas, you can mix any colors you have in your home. <laughs> okay, shall I put the pink? We're gonna run out of ideas soon. Quite hurry up, do the pink. Where are you gonna put the pink? That is, is that is that a rectangle shape? Is that a rectangle, Marie? Yes or no? No, she yes. is the opposite of pink, light green. So so think about it. Exactly. The opposite of pink. How do you make pink? You make um, pink red with red, white. red and, and white. white. So what is the opposite of red? It's green, so the opposite of pink is like what's green. The opposite of what, what's the opposite of white? The opposite of white, black. The yes, there you go. Dark green. Yes. Okay, thank you. So you just, just because they all come from something. So you just think, where do they come from? Mommy. Okay. Do you want to do any more? I like the white. It comes dark. Yes. Are you done with doing this purple? It's gone dirty now because you're gonna clean your brush. Okay, make sure you clean your brush, otherwise your color is not going to be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, don't. I just washed the brush. What are you doing? I just want to do something. Okay. So what are you gonna do now? If you don't add white, all the 
comes with the cover dog. Yes. Look, there's a lot of cover paper we haven't covered. Can you hurry up? What are you gonna do now? We've done red, so you can't do red again. No, no, no. Yeah. Marie, if you do this, look, let's we can make lots of different colors. Shall we open? Like so by the time your children might get bored and can't find any more color, you can open more paint, <laughs> open more different colors. Or you can you can add more different if but if you want to challenge your kids, you can you can start adding, look, you can start adding white to different ones, then you get different colors. So what are we gonna happen if we add or you can mix different colors which you already mixed? So green and blue is a very good combination, usually. So Marie, what happens if we make if we make, sorry, blue and blue. Um, well, if you make green, look, if we put green and blue together, what would, would it be? If, it, if we put these two together, what color would it be? Do you know? It's gonna be blue green. Do you wanna see what blue green looks like? I think it's funny. Is it funny? So let's do a bit of green first. Okay. And now we put a bit more blue. Is it pretty this color? Yeah. And we can put a bit white. It's not pretty. Is it a blue? This is a blue green. Put I it like to. I like to do it by myself. Okay, do it. Like okay. So what color do you want to do now? You want to do blue green? Okay. You blue and bit of yellow. Not too much yellow. Take this yellow. That is it. Yeah. Take take it. Did you take it? Okay. Is it too if it's too green, you add more blue. Too green, add more blue. Add more blue. Where is blue? Yes, add more blue. Yes, yes, that's very pretty. Very no, that brush, that is dirty paint. So make sure your paint must be clean, okay? Otherwise you get strange colors. What is strange? So must be see, you see? For example, this, our paint here is dirty now. When you take the paint, take it from the edge because Marie didn't take from the edge. So the paint is a little bit contaminated, a bit dirty. So, but it's okay. Okay, so where are you gonna put this color? Where are you gonna put it? Look, look at your- Everywhere. No. Can you look at your painting? There's very big blue here, Marie. We don't have enough blue green here. Shall I put it here? So you try to aim for a balance, okay? Can you put, can you do it? Do you want to do it here? Mary, do you want to do it here or here? Look, can you have a look? Come here, honey, come here. I put it here or here? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Next to the black. Okay, and then you try to like, try to not have any gaps between the colors, okay? Yeah. Then we cover, we need to cover all the paper with colors. We can use it one more time. Okay, let's do it here because you already put it here. Okay, where else do you want to put it? Or are we done with this? We'll do a new color? Well, finished. You can put more white and becomes a new color. Mm -hmm. If right. you don't add white, it becomes dull color. Okay. Like that. Yeah, so where do you want to put this now? Do I put it here? And put it here? Next. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Okay. Well, we need more. Have a look. We, shall we, we can move, we can put more yellow. It's dark painting. So you know you put these colors, then you look. Okay, and you look where. How can we balance it here? See, we don't have enough. It's a bit dark. Then we add some light colors. If it's too light, we add some dark colors. So try to balance it. What is balance? So yeah. And then if children get bored, mommy can finish. <laughs> it's, it's what, what shall I make? So how many, we need to count how many colors have we made now? We're gonna count in the end, okay? So. I'm bored. Are you bored already? Okay, mommy will try to finish. That's not good, Marie. I'm bored already. Okay, try to fill the whole page with colors. Okay, my student is already gone. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish for her. How are you guys, how are you guys coping? 
you can use you can make brown okay just bear in mind how to make brown you can use brown color so you put opposite to get color you get the color of poo poo which is brown okay so just try to try to fill the whole page with no gaps just fill everything with color and in the end we'll have a small exhibition So for example, in my painting, here is too bluey, bluey, purpley, bluey. So I'm going to try to balance it with some different colors. So you just, as you paint, and then don't be afraid to use brown. You can use brown now. So I'm going to make an attempt to make brown. And then sometimes the color doesn't look pretty. Sometimes it looks a bit dirty, but that's very important because if you put dirty color, for example, this is a very dirty color, but I put it next to a very vibrant, pure color, that actually the pure colors becomes even more standout. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's as pure as it gets. Okay, so how's everyone doing? I can't hear anybody. If anyone wants to communicate, if anyone has questions, just unmute, okay? I lost my student as well, but I'm, I'm, I keep going. I'm a little bit Okay. Oh, very good, Ting Ting. You can make some bigger squares, use bigger brush, make some bigger shapes. Don't be afraid. Imagine it's, it, if this is your exam, you have five minutes left. What are you going to do? Just do as quickly as possible. And then it doesn't have to be, I mean, it, it's, it's more exercise. So you're aware of opposite colors. It doesn't have to be exact opposite colors. So hold on. Let me see. Where are you? I can't see your painting. Okay, all right. Marie, this is a class for you. No, mommy is finishing, it's not good. No, that's, that's, the, that's the wrong color. Huh? Can you tell, okay, you, why don't you tell mommy where I put this? Oh, mommy will make color and you tell me where to put it, okay? Look at this color, it's a bit dirty. Where do I put it? Where should I put this dirty color? <laughs> yeah, okay. Big or small? Big brush or small brush? Small, okay. Tiny, shall I make something really, really light? Yeah. Yeah? I like a light red. What is a light red? Is it pink? Do you mean pink? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Later, okay? Look, shall we do a pink? I, I, I really want to see pink. Mommy likes pink. Do you like pink, Marie? I like dark pink. What is dark pink? Dark pink. It means dark pink. What? Is this pink enough? That's I like this color. Where should I put this color? What do you think? Can you show? So yeah, for the for the mummies who lost their students, you can you can do what I'm doing. You make the color and then you ask them where to put it. Yeah, 怎么了？老师，嗯，那个，如果你放咖啡色的话，你要不要一个放一个 opposite 的 color 呀？嗯 ，in theory, in theory. No, because it's kind of a neutral color. Okay. Because basically any kind of uh, brown or gray brown, this kind of color is quite neutral itself. So, um, it's like somebody who is very tolerant. 
it's like in your school, there are some children who can play with everybody. So the brown is that child. Yeah, they can make friends with everybody. <laughs> Maybe we should do a smaller painting. It's too big for like these kids. So, so you paint and then you look what color like you look and then you look at this you look at this and you think mm, what is gonna go nicely here then you just fill all the gap then that's 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 it that's all we're doing and then try as many different color as possible but do not appear more than three times okay and try different shapes i'm doing like some but just not the rectangle but Ting Ting, your shape needs to be diff more different if you can. Uh, and then sometimes like, for example, she did this big square. I think it's too big. I can cover it and then make them like divide it into a smaller square. Yeah. So you can do anything you want really. Then you look. What, what shall we do to fill in the blanks? What is gonna go nice to fill in the blanks? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. I put some blue here and try like, make sure you use different colors. For example, if you already use all of these pure colors, you start mixing them. So you can mix red and purple, which is a purple red, purple and blue, which is a purple blue, blue and green, purple, green. So you, this is called the third, uh, I think in English it's called ternary colors. So the third mixing. This is the primary colors, secondary colors, and kind of ternary colors is when you mix more than three elements. So you see what you can get. It's, this is an experiment and exercise. And um, I didn't expect to lose my students so fast. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't go to the edge. Go to the edge of the page, okay? Make sure you go to the edge of the page. Make sure you go to the edge of the page. Fill the whole page with colors, any color you want. And then you just start mixing, like don't think too much. And do some big strokes, some small strokes. Like Ting Ting, have a look. I'm gonna show you Ting Ting. So for example, you mix a lot of paint for the square or you just make mark like one, like one stroke. Okay, like one. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit more yellow now. My my thing is need a bit more lighter colors. Have you have we all lost our students? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay, Marie, can you help mommy? What should I put? Look, mommy make this color. Where should I put this? You want to put it here? Okay. Okay, where else shall I put it? Can you show me? Mm. Yeah, okay. It's the same color. It's not the same color. So we can make something a bit far away. So if you, because what I said, you don't use it more than three times. So try to... So try to hide them, yeah? Don't put them together, one here, one here, one here. Do spaced out, space them out. Um, I need more yellow. And don't be afraid to use dirty, the color that looks dirty, look at my palette. The color that looks dirty on the palette, don't be afraid because when it's on paper, 
it's like it doesn't matter because it's what happens when it's it's next when it's next to a different color. It's a very different effect. It's like in society you have people with different personalities. Some people they might be not as usual, but if you put them together, that's the society. Yeah. If you, this is actually a very philosophical session. Okay. Uh. So actually, if you every time, so that's the magic of oil painting or like painting with these materials. As long as you make new paint, as long as you new, make new mixture, every time, every time you will get a different color. Yeah. So, or for Ting Ting, which like you the other, so you, you can, what you can try is, when you have very pure colors, well, let's say that's as pure as you get on my paper. We have very pure colors, you can surround it by, don't be afraid to surround it by dirty colors. Okay, so I've done it one, two, three times. Stop. Okay, so now I actually didn't use too much black today. I think I need more yellow. Marie, can you come and help mommy, please? Where to put this paint? What? Can you have a look? Mommy's made this color. Where Mommy made this color. Where shall I put it? Where shall I put this? Here? I think about here. What about this? Like this? Yeah. Like this? Here. here we already have it. You are right, actually. Okay. Filling all the gaps. I don't see any paper, people. Okay. Marie, okay, what about now? This one is lighter. Mommy made it lighter. Yeah, this color. No, we're, we're only mixing these colors and see what we can get, okay? Marie, what shall I do with this color? Have a look. Where should I put this? Yep. We, only, we don't have much space left. We're almost finished. Where should I put this? No, no, no. Where should I put this? Should I put it here or here or here or here or here? Here? Oh yeah. You want me to put it here? Yes. Okay. Just <laughs> Don't think too much. I mean, at the beginning you should, but you know. <laughs> When you're a little bit further down, like now, just don't think too much and just feel. Imagine you're having an exam, just feel as much as possible of the paper. Different shape and sizes. Any color you think is too dark, just add white. Any color you think is too white, just add black to the purpose of this exercise. So for example, this one, this kind of pale-ish color, I just put yellow with tiny bit of red. It's a bit orangey and I add white. Uh, I think we're almost done. And you can always put color on top because you're using acrylic paint. You can put, you can actually color it on top of what you already done. So, well, if you have the. Just fill the whole page. No paper, I don't see any paper. Just fill the whole page with all colors, different colors. 
and see. Let's we're gonna see in the end how many colors you've made, different colors. So remember, if you make the same color, just if you add white, when I add different levels of white, if I add a ten, tiny bit of white or add a little, a lot of white, that that is a different color. That makes a different color. So now I'm making a different color, a different shade. Then you can add a bit more. I'm gonna use a bit of brown, try to do the brown. See, like a bit of dirty color. Don't be afraid of dirty colors. Well, I mean, don't be afraid of color that appear to be dirty. Because it's where you put it, there's other colors around it. Okay, don't be afraid of using dirty colors. Okay, we're almost done. Come on. What should I do? And paint, please paint all the way to the edge of the page, okay? You can go over it because in the end we can peel it off. Yeah, don't see like, look how dirty our palette is. Don't be afraid to dirty the palette. Make dirty marks is fine. And try make different shapes, okay? You see, we have big ones, small ones, different. So I've done black. I can do it again. For the colors you've used in the past, if you use it less than three times, if you want, you can keep, you can do another one. It's fine. Babay, we're almost finished. What should I do in this little bit? What color should we, what color are we missing? What do you think? Have a look, have a look. Should I do, I think I'm missing some green. Should I do a bit more green? Have a, can, we, can you stand up and have a look, please? I've completely lost my student. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this. Hey, look, I only have two little square left. Marie, can you help mommy? I don't know what to do now. Can you help mommy, please? Mommy, what, what do I do now? What do you think? I think. There's all last square. Okay, you decide. Brown. Well, brown? I don't have any brown. Well, I make brown here. Yeah, look, that's brown. I mean, mommy already baked brown. How do you make brown? Can you remind mommy? How do you make brown? How do you make? How do you make purple color? Huh? Opposite colors. No, just opposite. Okay, you, you can. Can you can you wear your apron, please? No, it's going to be a reddish color. Oh, 
And then sometimes if you don't know what to do, you divide it into little shapes. I, I don't know what to do now. Divide in a little shape and you can do like this. Like this, you can divide it. Okay. So you feel all the page. How is everyone doing? It's a bit late now. <laughs> Shall we have a look? We have a look. Hey, that's a look, everybody's thinking. I'm going to pull up now. Thank you. the page. Go, 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 go. Fill the page. Okay, I'm going to finish this. Then I'm going to stop recording. So ah, you can show me, okay? Hold on a minute. So when you peel off the page, remember, you must peel from the inside to outside. Don't rip your page from inside to outside like that. Is it pretty? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you like it, Marie? Is it pretty? Okay, my student is completely lost interest. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm gonna start recording and then let's have a look at everybody's painting. Yeah.